This is a treatment mission launched by the wildlife officials for a single tusker who has abscesses and grievous injuries all over his body after being a victim from an explosive trap gun set by evil hunters. Forest rangers first noticed this distressed elephant during their regular patrols. They were worried with the sight of the elephant who's got wounds and abscesses in several spots of his body. They informed the wildlife officials about the destitute elephant. The officials from the Department of Wildlife Conservation arrived to the spot ASAP, armed with necessary medicines and equipment. After several hours of search, they spotted the elephant amidst thick tree cover. The victim was a single tusker. The poor elephant has got bullet wounds in several spots of his body. The wounds were severely infected and maggots were there while flies hovering around. The infected wounds containing bullet particles penetrated into the flesh are more prone to be converted into an abscess. Because the wounds are infected, antibiotics were injected into the elephant to prevent the infection from being spread into the inner body parts. They had to administer several doses according to the huge body weight of the elephant. The elephant was a victim of a horrible trap gun set by evil hunters. This barbaric explosive trap is made out of metal pipe, metal pallets and ready available explosive chemicals. The trap gun has a feature that is similar to most landmines. Both are activated by the victim. Victim activated devices can never be used exclusively for only the intended target. The trap gun is hardly visible to the naked eye and its trigger line camouflaged in the jungle. In this background, innocent wild animals are at risk. It is the indiscriminate nature of those devices that make victim activated landmines and the trap gun so dangerous and vicious. Trap guns are frequently set along forest paths to kill animals such as sambhar, axis deer and wild boar. The height at which these guns are set depends on the chest height of the animal for a lung or a heart shot the poachers are attempting to kill. So almost all of these guns are set up at 3 feet or less height, with the lowest being for wild boar. Unfortunately, elephants become collateral casualties of these traps. Trap guns typically inflict wounds on the lower extremities of elephants, generally on their limbs from the elbow and knee downward. Here, you can see an officer is removing the embedded bullet particles that are embedded in the flesh. If the bullet particles remain in the body, those will slowly kill the elephant from the inside. The team was happy that they could save the elephant's life from immediate danger by removing the bullet particles. They do their job with great dedication and willingness to help the poor unspeakable giants.
After removing the bullet particles, the wounds were treated with gentian violet. Elephants with such injuries when spotted should be treated swiftly to ensure they will not suffer unnecessarily. However, the challenge is the lack of field veterinary facilities to mobilize immediately when such elephants are encountered. So tragically, most of these elephants go untreated. For those with grievous injuries, by the time an effort is made to treat them, it's too late. This victimized elephant was fortunate to found sympathetic people to treat him, and his life was saved from immediate danger by removing the bullet particles. Pick up what you need. Pity was there and then cut you. 